Why good telephone customer service is so important in business? We're gonna answer that question in this video. Let's talk about telephone customer service and why it's important and how it can impact your business. I'm gonna tell you something, this is vital for the long-term survival of your business. The person or the people, the staff that's answering your phones is almost everything. It is the front line of your business. It is the entry point. It is the immediate first impression that anybody is going to get if they've never shopped with you before, they've never called, they've never used your services, that is the thing that's gonna show everybody what you're made of. And it's important for you to understand that because you know this when dating, right? First impressions are everything. If somebody shows up with you know, raggedy clothes and doesn't smell good or, or whatever, that's the first impression you're gonna have of them and that's gonna stick. And if it's a blind date, they're probably not gonna go so well, right? So. Think of like telephone customer service as that. It's a blind date, it's on the phone, and you're representing the business, and they, in a sense, wanna know what you're made of. Maybe they're just calling to check and see what you're about. Maybe they've never been to your place. Maybe they've got five options to throw a party, right? They're looking for different entertainment venues. And they're like, we're gonna do one of five things. We might go bowling, we might go to the movies, we might go ax throwing, right? We might go to an escape room, whatever. They're gonna go to like five different things and they're gonna see, okay, which one of these people I'm calling seems like the most fun? Well, imagine, let's just like visualize this. You call option one and it's like a movie theater and the person answers the phone and they're like, so-and-so movie theaters. Wow, doesn't seem so much fun. Now I know in a movie theater, as an example, you might say, well, it really doesn't matter. We wanna just see this movie, but it does matter. It does matter because the person's excitement and level of enthusiasm on the other line might be the key defining thing that makes them make the decision to come see that movie that night because they feel your energy. And this world, that's what it's about. So imagine if you call back that movie theater and instead of you know that person kind of having that monotone, I don't care, this is just my day job kind of attitude and they're like, welcome to so-and-so theaters, how can I help you? And then they start going over the top like, yeah, that movie's incredible. Oh my gosh, you guys are gonna have a blast. I saw it last night and you know, you're gonna you know, enjoy it. Oh, make sure you buy lots of popcorn because you're not gonna wanna miss a thing. Wow, that person almost sold you. You're not gonna, probably not gonna make the other phone calls because of how energetic they were. And I will tell you, one of the worst things you can do is have employees working for you that you try to mold into something that they aren't. And what I mean by that is some people are very monotone by nature. They're introvert, right? They're not extrovert. They don't wanna be out there. They don't wanna be on the phone. They don't wanna answer the phone. They might have gotten a job with you and then you move them into a position where they now need to answer phones, but these people are actually representing your entire business, especially to somebody that's never done business with you. Would you, would you really wanna hire somebody? If you were able to rate people and say, a 10 out of a 10 is super enthusiastic, super exciting, over the top, customer service, everything you would ever want if you hired somebody, and then you had like the one that was just, you know, just dead as a doorknob, right? No life, like watching paint dry, nothing at all, and who do you want answering your phone, right? You know what the answer is, I don't need to tell you. So if that's the case, it's like when I talk about football, and you know how passionate I am about football. You wanna make sure that you put in certain key players in their correct positions where they shine. So I like to use the example of the quarterback and the kicker. Do you honestly want your star quarterback kicking the game-winning field goal in the Super Bowl? Now, I'm gonna drop this. My team's the Kansas City Chiefs, and for anybody that knows that, knows that I'm a diehard Chiefs fan, and we've got Mahomes. And I know Mahomes is very versatile, and he can do a lot of stuff. He probably can kick a game-winning field goal in the Super Bowl. However, I don't know that I would want him doing that. Let's, let's have somebody that's been kicking on the sideline for years and practicing kick that game-winning field goal for the Super Bowl. So why would you take, going back to the rating system, you got the person that scored a one, which is like the worst possible score you can get on customer service on the phone, and you got the person that's a 10. Well, who do you want answering your phones? It seems like an easy decision, but it's a mistake that I see so many businesses make. It's unbelievable. I can't tell you how many countless businesses over the course of my entire life that I've called 
and I get somebody that's half dead answering the phone and talking to me in monotone and rude or not excited. I mean, I don't expect people to kiss my butt when they're talking, right? I don't need that. But what I don't need is I don't need them to be sarcastic or rude or make me feel stupid, right? You know how people can do that when you're just, you're asking a question. Maybe you're calling, you know, some kind of auto parts store and you don't know exactly what size or what piece and the guy's Mr. Know-it-all and he thinks you're supposed to be Mr. Know-it-all. It's like, wow, I don't even want to do business with this place. Like this guy's just so rude, right? So just simply his customer service skills on the telephone might impact that business's sales just from that. And even worse, it's not only you don't end up spending money, you go to his competition or that company's competition, but then you don't ever tell your friends and family about that place because they didn't treat you right. And that just snowballs and that just kind of trickles down. And so then you see why there's certain companies that end up, even after they've been in business for say over 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, they go out of business. It's, you know, a lot of times because they didn't adapt to certain situations and market conditions, but a lot of times, it's because they didn't pay attention to their staff. They didn't pay attention to their personnel, to their employees. They didn't mold them the way that they needed to be molded, right? When you hire somebody, they're there to work for you. You're there, you're supposed to be the one that's responsible to train them to do the things the way you want them done in the right way, right? The right way is your way. The way that you think is the best way for the company to make a profit, to provide good customer service. So again, we talk about creating written processes and things like that. You're going to need to create things like that so your people know exactly what to do. With our businesses, we will have literally in writing, here's what we want you to say when you answer the phone and we want you to say it in a happy, energetic way. And it, it's, it's, it's literally like a deal maker or deal killer in certain cases if you're not talking the right way to a person. And sometimes you do have to step up. Sometimes you have to do go up 10 levels because the person's having a bad day and you have to kill them with kindness, right? You know that they're having a bad day, but just because you recognize they're having a bad day doesn't mean you gotta be rude to them or sarcastic with them or, or put them down or whatever. That's your customer. That's the person literally paying your salary, your hourly wage. That's, they're gonna pay for the company's rent, right? That's how you have to view them. So do your best to understand that your telephone customer service skills are the front line, it's the entry entrance basically to your business when somebody's not physically there. That's going to be their perception. It's like close your eyes and call a business on the phone. That's what it is. And then you start hearing their, their attitude and their tonality and their enthusiasm and all of that. And you're going to build this picture and this image of who these people are and what they're about and their business and their practices. And you're going to judge them. Most people that just, you're like, oh my gosh, they're rude or they're nice. Oh my gosh, they're incredible. That's because of what you've done to build that. And so as you continue to grow in business, make sure you don't lose track of what you're doing in customer service, especially on the telephone. Your telephone customer service needs to be super top notch and needs to excel. You know what? Call a couple of your competitors, see what they're doing. When they answer the phone, are they grumpy? Do we need to get them a nice Oscar the Grouch little stuffed animal? I mean, and just set it next to them? Is that what we need to do? I mean, we could. But that's the thing is listen to every single body, call three to five of your competitors, see how they're doing things and say, you know what? I can do better than that. And if you truly can, if you can outshine them, if you can go above and beyond, you're gonna have an edge over your competition just simply on the telephone, on, on answering your phone. So practice it, it takes time. Maybe record yourself, watch yourself in the mirror. We've all got, you know, most people got smartphones or some ability to, you know, film yourself, see what your mannerisms are like, listen to yourself, try to improve. Again, we talk about constant and never ending improvement. Connie or Canny, C A N I, constant and never ending improvement. So if you can continually and never endingly improve your telephone skills, your telephone customer service skills for your business, your business at some point has got to grow simply from the law of averages. The average people are just gonna stay average, but there's gonna be certain businesses that separate and just explode and do ex exceptionally well. And they do that because they're separating themselves from the pack. And that's again, I'll bring it up again. That's why so many people like Amazon as a buyer because their customer service is incredible. And Jeff Bezos built that company around customer service obsession. So model yourself after the kings in, the, in, in, this, in this world, right? Amazon's one of the, they are probably the biggest giant right now. Model yourselves after that 
that whole concept and watch your business grow. Okay, everybody, I hope you liked this video. Remember to click the subscribe button below. I'm gonna to continue to keep delivering videos as much as I can. And remember, be the hustler!